Hi, my name is Cheryl Pratt, and I am the POP consultant of Lester B. Pearson School Board's Educational Services Department. I will be talking about the Personal Orientation Project, or as it is most commonly called, POP. The purpose of this video is to provide you with a summary of the POP program. Let's get started. The Personal Orientation Project Program. POP is a program that gives students a central role to explore various career fields that interest them and to reflect on their choices by trying out a variety of work functions. POP allows them to continue constructing a personal and career identity through individual career explorations. They acquire strategies they need to enrich their identity throughout their lives. POP has two competencies. Competency 1 carries out a process of career exploration and Competency 2 contemplates his her learning and work possibilities. Students at this point of their lives have to make choices academically and consider what the future may hold for them. They must start to envision possible paths but not make a final career choice. This program allows them to develop the competencies to know how to explore careers and to contemplate their learning and work possibilities. POP Basics As you can see on the slide, students in a POP classroom will be engaged in many ways. They are engaged in three to eight individual career explorations based on their own interests. They use a variety of resources. They talk to key people in academic settings and businesses. Students record their findings. It could be with graphic organizers, journals, electronic portal spaces, or even blogs. Students do not have to start and end their career explorations at the same time. It is about the process, not the product. Students do not have to even create a final product, such as a PowerPoint, in order to develop the POP competencies. POP encourages students to try out work tasks, talk to people in the field, and visit professionals at work. It is not just reading career facts. POP encourages students to reflect upon their findings and adjust their career explorations based on their discoveries. The program asks students to go beyond researching basic information, such as what is the salary for this job? It involves students asking themselves questions. For example, this career is interesting to me because I think I would be good at, I was surprised to discover, or even I just realized if I pursued this career, I would need to move to attend school and so on. Closing thoughts. In POP, students engage in action and reflection. Remember the two competencies? Competency one, carries out a process of career exploration. This would be action. And competency two, contemplates his, her learning and work possibilities. This would be reflection. Students use both internal and external resources. I encourage you to read pages 23 to 26 in the POP program for a detailed description of the program content. The program explains what POP is and more importantly, what POP is not. Students are learning how to explore careers, not make final career choices. Again, I would encourage you to read your program again and again throughout the year. You will find it really helps. You are looking at a copy of the Learning and Evaluation Process poster. It is an interpretation of the POP program and has four phases. K-POP, which stands for Know Yourself, Plan, On Task, and Ponder. As students go through these phases, they develop the POP competencies. A video explaining the POP learning and evaluation process can be found in the career development section on the LEARN website. Please take a moment to watch it. 
as it brings the POP program to life in your classroom. Also, your POP consultant at LBPSB has a copy of the Learning and Evaluation Process Poster for your POP classroom. Just ask for it. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about the POP program. More POP videos are planned. Visit the ESD LBPSB YouTube video section often to see what is new and what else is of interest to you.